In primetime news this evening, health sector worried about polio, measles and rubella as child vaccination decreased since COVID. We have the latest from the finance ministry on the civil servant pay issue. And later, malicious destruction, man smashes several cars, then attempts to escape in a police uniform. Good evening and welcome to Primetime News. We're live on air and online at onespotmedia.com. I'm Herman Green. And I'm Janela Precious with a preview of what's to come in the business news. Here's Andrea Chisholm. Janela, this evening we're talking about profits and lots of it. A major commercial bank had a $3 billion increase in net profit. Details in the business day. Our right, thanks, Andrea. From Andrea, we go to Jordan. Jordan, what's the latest in sports? Well, Herman, unlike 2019, the Reggae Girls will have a dedicated team-based training camp at the World Cup in 2023. And of course, the Men's World Cup continues tomorrow with the first semi-final from Qatar. I'll have all the details in Primetime Sports Monday. There's also sports commentary, E-Prime and weather in this newscast. But before the break, the feedback question. Our question this evening. What are your views on the PNP's declaration of December 12th as Portia Simpson Miller Day. You can share comments online, facebook.com slash television Jamaica and tweet us at television jam one. Please stay tuned. Primetime News returns after this break.